Dad and son spot a crate on a remote field while on a road trip, are taken aback by what's inside it. Every family is not just as perfect as it seems, and hurdles are bound to come in every relationship, regardless of the closeness. With the passage of time, differences are bound to creep in, hence it becomes important to communicate and express one's feelings from time to time to revitalize the relationship. A similar incident happened when a father-son duo took a road trip to rekindle their relationship, but this trip changed their lives forever. If there was any truth in the proverb happily ever after, the majority of the people living around the Winningers would believe it to be true for them. Winningers were the most adorable couple and everybody would love to be around them. When Zack entered their life, their whole world would revolve around the kid from teaching him alphabets or going to his annual day functions. They shared a close-knit bond with each other. As the couple's kid, Zack, entered his sophomore year, things began to change gradually. The amount of time the father-son duo used to spend together decreased with the passage of time. This made the father, Brett Winninger, a little worried. Whenever he used to discuss this with his wife, she generally would brush off saying that he was getting older and this was bound to happen. Would the father let the distance come between their relationship? The differences had become such an issue that they were having arguments every other day. This made Brett's wife extremely worried. She didn't know how to tackle both the men and tried to make them sit in one place and talk about it, but that only made the matter worse. Would she be able to bring both men in harmony with each other? What the father and the son were not able to understand was the generation gap, which was the root of all their problems. Brett was always engrossed in work and Zach was trying to cope up with his studies, both the son and the father lacked time and hence the pit of the difference was growing deeper and denser with time and made it impossible to understand each other. One night Brett sat on the edge of the bed, trying to find out some solution as this situation was getting on his nerves. The more he tried to make peace with his son the more things got worsened. He was fed up now and went to his wife to seek some advice because Zack was his only child and he didn't want to create unnecessary walls between them. What would he do now? Though Brett wasn't worried about Zack getting into a bad company, still the void that was being created annoyed him a lot. So he wanted to find a way by which he could revitalize his relationship with his son. He thought he needed a break from his work and spend some quality time with his son. But the question was would Zack appreciate his efforts? He had a long discussion with his wife about the same and thought of proposing a way to his son in order to make it up to him for the void that he had unknowingly created himself. He started scratching his head to think about what they could do together and then an idea clicked to him, and that was bound to be successful, he thought. It was New Year's Eve and he knew what exactly he had to give to his son which he thought he would not be able to say no to. He hoped that his son would happily accept it, so he started to wait eagerly for the eve. His wife was happily watching him put effort even when he had a tight schedule with thousands of meetings arranged every other day. The much-awaited day finally came and Brett was excited to reveal the gift. So as the time approached everybody gathered around, he picked up the mic and announced about the road trip he would be taking along with his son Zack as he used to do when he was a kid. Would this help the duo rekindle their relationship? When Zack heard the proposal he was overjoyed and readily accepted it. For him, it was just like revisiting his childhood. He thanked his dad for the thoughtful gift and the family toasted to their better future and prosperous new year. It was the much needed gift in years and Zack was eagerly looking forward to it. Back in his school time, whenever he had a vacation, he and his dad would go on a road trip on his bike. He would often tell Zack about his college time, what lessons he had learned over these years and how reality was different from what was portrayed in the books. Zack would love hearing about the stories, and today it was as if things were going to repeat. As the day came to an end, Zack excitedly entered his room to start packing for the same. It was after so many years, he had got such a chance and was in no mood to miss it for anything. So they decided that they would head to Little Rock, Arkansas on the 15th of January. After dinner, they discussed their plan and started to track the roads. The morning that they had to start off their journey was a bit chilly unexpectedly but no amount of hurdles would make them change their plan. They commenced their journey at the decided time in the morning and Zack's mother packed them all the necessary things along with their favorite snacks. 
He insisted on taking their pooch too and packed his food too, but Brett said denied to take the pooch with them and said it was their reunion and he wanted to spend some time alone with his son. Brett had taught him how to ride a bike, but due to his busy schedule, he was unable to devote much time to watch him fall from his bike, rise again and learn from his mistakes. As he saw him riding after so many years, he became nostalgic. He somehow controlled his emotions and praised the lad for his extraordinary driving skills on such a bumpy road. He thought he had learned a lot of things and because of his unavailability, he had missed his boy's childhood. Both stopped their bikes in one place and started to share what was going on in their lives. After a long time, they had been so chatty and expressive. The last time they had talked to each other was when Zack had just turned 13 and told his dad about the things and subjects he hated and the teacher he disliked or the nerdy annoying girl he had a crush on. It was relieving for both of them to share their thoughts with each other. Zack had turned into a man so he too understood what work pressure his dad was going through. His dad expressed his desire for his son to take over his position after he retires. This was gradually decreasing the distance that had come between them over the years. It seemed to them that unknowingly they were losing on the important things that mattered to them just like their relationship. Zack expressed how badly he used to miss his presence on the annual day functions. They were working on the differences that had come in between. Would they be able to be on the same page again? So after having the heartfelt conversation, they were ready to move forward on their road trip. As they went ahead with the wind, the sun was above their head and they could now clearly see the road which was otherwise blocked due to fog. As the road became clearer, they tried to show off their driving skills to each other and the father like the previous times took the sun by surprise. While they were finally enjoying each other's company, Zack saw something that caught his attention and he asked his dad to stop immediately. Brett, unaware of the situation, stopped the bike suddenly. Zack pointed his dad towards the direction of the field so that he could also see the thing that caught his eye. What was it that made them stop in the midst? They made their way to the object and tried to investigate what it might be. It looked like a crate, but why would anybody leave the crate in the middle of the field? They looked at each other in doubt and thought about what it might contain. As they went further to have a proper look at the object, the crate suddenly moved out of nowhere, and they both backed off, fearing that crate might have some dangerous animal inside it. After a while when the movement in the crate stopped they came a little closer to it as their curiosity increased. As they came close, they saw scratches on the upside of the crate. It was clear that there was an animal inside it. They were afraid to open the box but out of curiosity, they thought of lifting the lid off it. Would they be able to know what it contained? As the creature was still playing hide and seek, Brett annoyingly removed the lid. Zack pulled his father back with his arms because he feared that the terrified animal might attack. And as the lid was fully removed a puppy came out. She was black in color and was mortified to death. It seemed as if she had been put into the cage for a long time. It seemed like a task to go near as she had been smelling like her own feces. The pooch's condition was terrifying as she was unable to stand on her feet and had a hunch on her back due to the lack of space to move in the crate. They weren't even able to tolerate the smell and had a feeling that they would puke. Still, they plucked up their courage and went near the terrified pooch. The more they came near the pooch the more it got scared but they couldn't leave it right there. She looked famished from eyes so Zack ran towards his bike as he remembered that he had packed the dog's food and hadn't removed it from the bag. He put the food in front of the pooch. She hesitantly moved forward and grabbed it and started to gulp it down her throat. They were determined to help her because leaving her there in that dire situation was no option for them. And there was no dog shelter in the sight. The dog was slowly putting her trust in them and coming forward hence making it possible for them to help her. But now they were looking out for resources through which they could help the pooch. After a lot of discussions, they came to the conclusion that Zack and Brett would go back home and bring the car and Zack's bike would be still there marking the point. They weren't sure that they would be successful in this but still, they wanted to do everything to save the pooch. Would the pooch able to understand and help them to save her? Throughout the journey, they were just thinking about the pooch and prayed that she would not run away from there. They tried to speed up so they could reach home soon and bring back the help with them. When they reached home the mother was surprised to find them so early and asked if everything was fine. After hearing about their wellness she started to pack first aid and some extra food for the pooch. Later as they left for the return journey, his mother called the vet and fixed an appointment immediately. She loved dogs and was angry at the man who had just deserted the pooch to die. Would they be able to find the pup where they had left her? Zack sped up his car as fast as he could to reach the place as soon as possible. The minute they reached the place they were happy to find the pooch safe and sound and at the same place that they had left her. 
The pooch looked expectantly at them as Brett and Zack ran in her direction with the first aid and some food. Now when they had restored trust, they could easily get near to her as they thought she would not run away in fear. They approached her and she calmly stepped towards them. They slowly took her in their arms to examine. She had badly wounded her legs and this could have been because she was standing on her paws for a long time. After the general medication, they didn't take any longer and put the dog in the car. Though after seeing the condition of the dog, they were in doubt that they might not be able to save the pooch. As they had heard a slow growl of the dog, Brett thought if you've got enough strength to growl, you've got enough strength to live, would they make it to the home? They quickly put the pooch in the back seat and was excitedly drove her to their home. While Zack was driving, Brett suggested naming the pooch. So after a lot of speculations, they agreed to name her Charlie Bravo or CB. The name was inspired by the motorcycle they were driving. Even the dog seemed to like her new name and gave numerous kisses to Brett. They thought who would have left such a lovely dog in that crate. As they entered the house, the mother was extremely happy to see the pooch alive and safe. She had already prepared a much-needed hot water bath for the pooch. While giving her the bath, the mother noticed that her nails were so overgrown that they had actually started to grow back in her paws. She was disappointed to see the pooch in such a condition. They didn't waste another minute and rushed the pooch to the vet's clinic and hoped for her wellness. The vet too, seeing the critical condition of the pooch took the case in her hands immediately as they arrived. Observing the condition of the pooch, the vet was afraid to say anything. Would they be able to save the pooch? Soon they started the treatment by cleaning the wounds from her paws. After that, they carefully dressed the sores and gave her necessary injections for her infections that had developed due to living in such an environment. The vet also estimated that the dog must be eight months old and wondered how one could be so stone-hearted to leave the dog in a crate. Soon the pup started gaining weight and was on the way to recovery. The Winningers had started to reach people out to find a perfect home for the pup. Although they had grown attached to the pup, they couldn't adopt her as they already had three dogs to take care of and they didn't want to neglect her just as her previous owner. When they couldn't find a perfect owner for Charlie Bravo, they thought about posting the news online which might help them in finding an owner. So they put the news on every social media platform with the thought that this would help them in their quest. Even after a lot of speculations and evaluations too, they failed to provide Charlie Bravo a new house. What would they do now? While they were busy finding another home, they failed to notice that Charlie Bravo unexpectedly came closer to everyone in the family, even the dogs. The mere thought of giving her away would cause ache in their hearts. So after having a big conversation on the dinner table, they decided to adopt the pooch and take care of her as just like the other pets they had in their house. Though they thought to post the news online was a waste of time, the aftermath surprised them all. Within no time the news went viral but now the family was in no mood to give away the apple of their eye to anyone else. So they had to refuse the potential owners that showed interest in the pooch. And what the people did afterward was another big surprise. The potential owners then found another way to help the pooch and they all started to donate money for the pooch hospital bill. The family was obliged to see people's generosity. Soon with the treatment and thousands of prayers, Charlie Bravo gained back her health and looked more fit than ever. When the family shared this news, people excitedly congratulated them. Even after Charlie Bravo had recovered fully, the funds still continued to come in and they had no idea as to what was to be done with the funds. They tried to post the same online still. The funds came with utmost sincerity. So the family came with the idea to donate the rest of the money to nearby animal shelters in the Little Rock area. It was unbearable to think about the situation the little pooch was kept in and it was dreadful to think how a person could just desert a dog in the middle of the field so heartlessly. Luckily, the father and the son took the same road and saved the pooch but still, there were numerous pooches deserted by their owners who needed help. Soon the pooch and the family members had become inseparable. The pooch was so loving that she was adored by everyone in the house. This incident brought a new zeal in the father-son relationship. Because of Charlie Bravo, they were coming close to as they took care of the pooch and her medication together. Charlie Bravo was happy and was in harmony now. Soon after she had recovered, she underwent training and turned out to be a very fast learner and intelligent. This came as no surprise to the family. She was not only the family's favorite, but everyone in the neighborhood too liked her jolly and playful nature. Kids would often take turns to play with her. With the arrival of Charlie Bravo, the house was never at rest and a jolly buzz remained there. She was a hyperactive pup who was never at rest, nor did she let anyone rest and the whole house would echo with her blissful bark. And due to her, the duo used to spend more and more time together that increased their understanding with each other. 
In such a short span of time, she had become the heart and soul of the house. But out of all the people, she shared an unsaid but very special bond with Brett. He loved to call Charlie Bravo by a million names, and she too seemed to adore each one of it. But of all the million names he loved, Casa de Wacos. She was having the best time of her life. Charlie Bravo was very lucky to be found by such loving people who not only cared about her while she was sick, but adopted her later. After this incident, the family thought of starting a charitable animal shelter, which would help these pooches as the charitable money still continued to come. And they made this dream come and started an organization called Charlie's Angels and rescued many more Charlies in this mission. <laughs> 